welcome the host of Masquerade, Johnny Queer! Crunchyroll Expo, a con, as I've come to know that you guys call these things. And um, I have to tell you, the, the sense of community, the sense of love that you guys bring to the world is really awesome for somebody who didn't even know this world existed two years ago. For me to see this and be a part of it, it's a big honor. All of the art, all of the love that you guys have for this incredible art, it's absolutely incredible. Ow! And I'm so honored to be here. Now, you'll notice that I have a lot of papers in my hand, and, you know, I'm a pro, I can read teleprompters like a champ, um, but we have no teleprompter, and you guys have really complicated names and aliases. Um, so I need these little guidelines so that I know what's going on. Also, I'd like to mention that I'm a masquerade version, and I'm losing my virginity to you all tonight. <laughs> So, um, I hope it's as good for you all as it will be for me. <laughs> um, but I guess we have a lot to see and, you know, we're really in this for the cosplay. We're not in it so much to see my kimono and what happens when it comes off. Um, so, I'm going to read off the paper and you guys feel free to chime in, yell at me if you hate what I'm saying. But these are the rules for the night, so these are really strict guidelines that we all have to adhere to. The masquerade format. The masquerade is divided into themed walk-ons. The categories we're featuring are heroes, villains, magical transformations, gaming, uh, gaming, yes, we got gaming, idols, I like that one, anime, special feature category, Dragon Quest. <laughs> After they work the runway, we'll catch up with them and meet the personality behind the costume. We have an esteemed panel of selected judges with us tonight. First, we have Jesse Pridemore. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Random Susan? <laughs> Wait, okay. Hey, hey, Suze. Um, all right, we've got Steph von Schweetz. Good costume, by the way. Agape realness, all day, every day. And we have Wind of the Stars. Now, joining me almost as uh, translators through the night are special co-hosts. We've got Mika Burton, who will be joining me on stage later on. Melting Mirror. And of course, Crunchyroll Hime. Yeah, how cute is she? And by the way, why did nobody notice the tree growing out of my head and clap for it? I was okay. Round of applause for my tree. Thank you. <laughs> I love trees. Um, at intermission, we'll have a special performance by famed musical artist, Teddy Lloyd, while the judges deliberate and make their decision. Can I, I'm sorry, I ruined that one. Can I have one more round of applause for Teddy, please? Now, Crunchyroll Expo is very excited to host a special Dragon Quest competition at this year's Masquerade. Dragon Quest XI releases on Tuesday, September 4th. So that's like the day after tomorrow, isn't it? So best of luck to Dragon Quest team. And Square Enix has provided us with four massive prize packs to celebrate. Large, extremely massive, lots of, lots of gifts. The judge for Dragon Quest category is Yuji Hori. The series creator and game designer of Square Enix's famed Dragon Quest series. And accompanying Yuji is the director of Dragon Quest XI, Takeshi Uchikawa. 
Square Enix has provided some incredible prizes, and I'm going to go through them now because I must. You guys have to hear about these things. Okay. The best of each category, aside from Dragon Quest category, gets a three-day pass to CRX 2019. Yes, we're on again next year. As well as an anime merch gift pack. Third place overall gets $250 plus three day pass to Crunchyroll Expo 2019 plus anime merch gift pack. Second place gets all the gift packs in the CRX 2019s and 500 American large. Best in show will receive all those things and 1,000 American dollars. Now, because we're doing a special celebration for Dragon Quest, there are special prizes. So the top four Dragon Quest costumes will receive, <laughs> courtesy of Square Enix, a PS4 Slim, and Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age edition of Lost Time, which includes a Dragon Quest XI for PS4 with a versatile cover, 128 page art book, woohoo, a two-disc orchestrated soundtrack. Oh my god. And allegedly oodles of swag. Oh. Now, without further ado, let's start with the Dragon Quest category. I'd like to invite Yuji Hori and Takashi Uchikawa to the stage to judge our Dragon Quest entries.
this takes. I'm in absolute awe. It's like training for the Olympics, I think, getting ready for the, the expo. Okay, um, let's talk what we saw, but I want to interview, first up, Pathias Prince Canuck from Dragon Quest. And if I butcher names, I'm so sorry, just yell it to me on how to pr properly pronounce it. Hi! You look incredible. Thank you. Who are you wearing? <laughs> the Prince of Canuck. Okay. And talk to me, what's the redeeming... Wh I have so many questions. How did you choose the Prince of Hedda to cosplay as? Is it just your spirit animal or... Talk to me about the process. He's definitely my spirit animal. So when my friends and I decided we were going to cosplay the three heroes from Dragon Quest II, there's one who's a really cool warrior, there's two who's a beautiful princess who's great at magic, and then there's this guy who's bad at everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. I don't know if it suits you or not, but you look great. <laughs> uh, Yuji-san, how do you feel about our look? <laughs> it's such an amazing cosplay. It seems like you just jumped out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And we'll find out if you win shortly. <laughs> Thank you. One more round of a hand, please. Next up, we have Kuro cosplay as Zoma from Dragon Quest. Zoma! My, my. Now, I'm going to ask you a similar question. How did you come up with this as your character, as your heart song, so to speak? Um, well, I love villains, so... <laughs> What sort of spells can you cast, or what's, what's your special power? Guys, again, Virgin, I've watched Yuri on Ice start to finish many times, but Virgin to the anime world, teach me as we go. Talk to me. Well, I use the despair and the pain from everyone else, and I collect that and use that as my energy to fight back the heroes. Well, I mean, you look fantastic. I wouldn't want to meet you in a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> you just thought. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> no, truthfully, it kind of scares me. That's how great your cosplay turned out to be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, it seems like you would definitely be breathing out this, like, evil to the world. You can just see it coming out of you. <laughs> but, no, 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 that was the Dragon Lord. Oh, so. <laughs> You've done that. Have you guys round of applause, please? I'd like to know how long it takes to wash that blue off. I'll ask backstage. It's not for here now. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got DB Nibbles as Jade from Dragon Quest. <laughs> See, I'm not scared of you. You look incredible. How did you choose this as your cosplay? Um, I really like strong female characters, and I really like... I saw her regular costume, and it was interesting, but I really want to do an alternate costume, and I thought this one was beautiful, so I made this selection. Now, is this something that you've created yourself, or is it something that you've gathered over time to put the, the whole costume together? Like, if, you, if you've made it. <laughs> did you... Did you is, is that the rule you have to make your own as cosplay? Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you for enlightening me. So bravo, you made it yourself. <laughs> Gentlemen, your thoughts. Yes, um, this is Jade, and it's the alt version of Jade. It's very, very amazing. Thank you. Wasn't it hard to create? I faced a few challenges, but it was worth it in the end. What was the biggest challenge? Body suit was the hardest for me. It's fully lined, and um, that's a challenge because I don't really do that with my cosplay, so I want to um, take a step forward and make something that will last. It's fantastic. Bravo. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause, please.
Next up we have Jay as Hero from Dragon Quest. Yeah. Hi. Uh, how much fun are you having? Uh, pretty fun. <laughs> Will you tell the audience how much you love them and appreciate them? I love you guys so much. <laughs> You're drunk, get off. I didn't actually get to see your walk. Did you do anything inspiring and special that really, you know, kind of, the movement just sort of leapt through you? I don't know about inspiring, but um, I just did what I felt inside. <laughs> yeah. It's the best that we can be. Gentlemen, your opinions, please. So, I think it's a lot of fun. Yes, um, it was very lovely to see you. You were very joyful um, on stage. <laughs> it was a great uh, hero. Uh, uh, thank you. A very sunny face you have. So, this is the Senaka no Kenga. Can you turn around for a moment? Oh! Just a little bit. I was just a little bit. I was just a little bit. I was just a little sword, it seems like you're still at the beginning of your journey. But you will be leveling up from here on out, so we would love to see you stronger. Thank you. Thank you very much. Round of applause. I love a shining, sunny, happy face this late at night. All right, last but not least, Chrissy for short is Veronica from Dragon Quest. Please join me on the stage. Woo! Hi. Talk to me about your staff. Um, it's a PVC pipe with some <laughs> No, but what does it do? Do you carry birds on top of it? What happens on the staff? <laughs> You're such a cute Veronica. We're so moved. Thank you. <laughs> あの、すごいあのポイントが高いなと思ったのはちゃんと杖をですね、あの大きく作っているっていうところで、そのベロニカの小ささっていうところを表現しているのがゲームと全く同じなので、あのすごい感動しました。はい。はい。One thing we definitely want to point out is the fact that you've got the ratio of staff and versus your body. Correct. I mean, it's just like a game of how the staff is like overtowering your body. So great, great awesome. costume. Thank you. Well done. Good job. Yep. Round of applause. Screaming, you know, clapping without this is always a Oh, I'm sorry, we do have one more. I can, I can read, I promise. <clears throat> Boo regards and Sue to Pri as Elena and Aurora from Dragon Quest Heroes, please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't forget. I just, you know, I, I, I didn't read well. All right. Talk to me. <laughs> who, who is this? It's a slime. A slime? Huh? One slime that just appeared. Now, where did he appear from? Do we know that? No. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> and talk to me about your chest plate and your, and your shoulder pads there. What's this all made from? Um, just EVA foam. And then spray paint, and it's perfectly molded. I'm proud of all this. And, you know, the slime, though. Can we go back to it? Does it have a name? Just slime. Great. Now, how did you guys decide, I mean, is this character pairing in, in Dragon Quest? And you guys decided that it was cool to go together and share the prizes? We haven't figured that out yet. I'm, I'm 
glad you got your wig on because it's gonna get snatched off. <laughs> when it's time to divvy up prizes. All right, gentlemen, your opinions, please. Hi, I know that each one of the concert was good. Eat on us. The slime one is a good that they could start this today. It's good, totemo kawaii slime. Yeah, I mean, your costumes are amazing, and then also your slime. It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's so amazing. Thank you. So, this is a concept of the 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 and yeah, so both of your costumes as well as the slime, it's just created so wonderfully. I mean, it's, it looks as is, basically. Um, and then, I mean, we have Alina here with us here today. Um, one question, would you be able to show us one of her moves? Worth it! Well, get ready, guys. <laughs> judging is that you crush dreams <laughs> as soon as you name the first person who's first place. <laughs> I know a thing or two. Wah, wah. I love you guys. You're so sweet. Yeah, ideally everyone did such a great job. We would have loved to give it to every single one of you. And we did go back and forth quite a lot in the moment right here. Um, but we finally, finally decided. So we will announce one at a time. First, we have Prince of Canic. Just head back to that X over there. Yeah, so um, 
um, just some final comments from Huni San. Um, you know, again, it was such a hard choice. Um, we did take quite some time to decide uh, the four winners, and unfortunately, we could only select four, but we appreciate all of you for participating in this contest. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, cosplaying is so fun and amazing to be able to kind of live the characters from the game. Uh, cosplay is such an amazing uh, activity. And you had given us so much fun and joy today. Thank you so much. You guys can do better than that. I mean, very loud. Right? Wait, everyone. <laughs> we think that everyone worked really hard. Yes. So, for those who weren't the four grand prize winners, we still brought a special gift for all of you. <laughs> So we brought this with us here today. Yes, so Dragon Quest 11 will be releasing day after tomorrow, and we are giving this as a special gift to both of you um, today, here today. <laughs> Congratulations.